Hey there, so you're thinking about making a move out here to the Salt Lake City area, but you really are interested in simply knowing about the cost of living? Well, you're in luck today because today we're going to be talking about the overall cost of living here in the Salt Lake City, Utah area, what it's like living comfortably here, and then finally, what some of the lowest cost cities are here in Utah, and we're gonna hop into it right now. Carla here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your very first time here. This channel is literally everything you need to know about eating, working, playing, sleeping, and living in the Salt Lake City, Utah area. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below and make sure you tap that bell for notifications so you are notified every time we drop a new video. We are from people like you all the time that are relocating or looking to make a move here to the Salt Lake City, Utah area, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move in a week, in a month, or even a year from now, feel free to give us a call, shoot a text, or send us an email, and my team and I would love to connect with you. So let's simply start out with housing, utilities, and transportation, because those are some big ones. So according to Payscale, these are gonna range you anywhere from about $1,200 a month on up again, depending on the area that you are in. The average electricity bill is gonna run you right around 150, you know, $150 a month. Again, depending on your housing situation, it will be, it could be more or it could be less, but 150 a month is about what you're looking at. And at the time that I am shooting this video, gas prices are about $4.25 a gallon. So that gives you a little bit of a snapshot of some of the prices that we are seeing here in the cost of living we're seeing here in Utah. Moving here from California a couple years ago, when we took a look at the price of food and you know utilities and gas and all of that, we kind of went, wow, this is actually a lot less expensive than obviously California, obviously New York, some of those big cities. Salt Lake City, Utah's housing expenses are 4% higher than the national average. So just to kind of give you a little snapshot of that, if you're looking for an area that might have a lower cost of living that's kind of within the same region, Wyoming is you know 18th on the list. Utah has the 31st, yes, 31st lowest cost of living state within the United States. So kind of keep that in mind too of we're somewhere right in the average, just a little bit higher than the average. At the time that I am shooting this video right now too, a loaf of bread will run you around, right around $3 a loaf. A gallon of milk is just slightly over $3. Although if you go to Costco, it usually is when you buy the two pack, it's usually a little bit cheaper, but it'll run you right around $3 a gallon as well. A carton of eggs is right around $2.50. If you're looking into healthcare, depending on the provider, depending on your insurance, depending on all those things, a doctor's visit will typically run you right around $150 a visit. Dentist, about $100, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on the dentist. So those are some healthcare costs that you can think about. Let's hop right into childcare, depending on the type of care that you need, full-time, part-time, in-home, you know, at the school, usually will range you in-home daycares and childcare facilities will usually be less expensive than some of the other more traditional preschools and childcare facilities, but that'll usually run you an average of about $700 a month, anywhere to about $1,500 a month, again, depending on the school, the care and the services. Next up, let's talk about taxes. Utah has what is called a flat tax. Utah is a flat tax state, which means that no matter how much you make or how, you know, how much or how little that you end up making, you pay the same flat tax, which is 4.95%. Yeah, neighboring states like California, you are going to be paying, you could be paying as much as over 13% based on that state income tax, they have a gradual scale. Whereas Utah, depending on, like I said, how much you make, it is a flat tax. It is, you know, it's not gradual depending on how much you make. So for some, they absolutely love that. And they're like, 
my goodness, I am saving so much money on those state taxes simply because it is a flat rate. Because of that flat tax here in Utah, people coming from surrounding states, all of those taxes that they were paying for the various, you know, cost of living in different states, some people I know that have come here have gone, oh wow, our monthly expenses have drastically, drastically decreased simply because of taxes. So a lot of people really like that flat tax that is here of, hey, can I live comfortably in Utah with the salary I currently have? Like my parents always used to raise me constantly, like, hey, just live below your means. So if you are making this amount of money, make sure that you are your expenses are not going over your costs. It's kind of simple accounting and simple math, but hey, you know what? Maybe you need to forego this or hey, maybe I need to pick up an extra job or an extra shift or something to bridge that gap. So can you live comfortably? Yes. Do many people live here very comfortably? Yes, for sure. Um, but again, just based on you know your costs and your expenses, just make sure that your expenses are below your costs. Wondering what cities here in Utah have some of the lowest costs? Well, number one on the list is Cedar City, Utah. Yeah, Cedar City, Utah, it is down in Southern Utah. It's about 45 minutes north of St. George, Utah. And the affordability there in Cedar City is relatively one of the lowest here in Utah. Um, Cedar City is of a smaller town, but it's not going to, you know, you're not gonna have your cost go there, but you will in St. George, which is 45 minutes away but you do have a college there. You do have a lot of other restaurants and shops and other amenities that are there in Cedar City. So Cedar City is first on the list. Number two on the list is Ogden, Utah. Ogden is about 35 minutes north of the Salt Lake International Airport. Same thing, Ogden is a bit bigger than Cedar City, but it also, you know, it does have a lot of the bigger restaurants and shops and things of that nature there. Ogden's known for a lot of its hiking and biking and forests and trails in that area. So number two on the list is Ogden. And number three on the list for a lower cost of living and cities is Provo, Utah. Yes, Provo, Utah. Provo, Utah has a little over 100,000 residents. In fact, when Provo, Utah is home to Brigham Young University, and it seems like that town ends up doubling when school is in session, but you know, it's a definitely a college town and uh, Provo is really close to Orem, which is a surrounding city, but the cost there to live is one of the, you know, one of the more affordable in Utah. So hopefully that gives you a little snapshot of overall cost of living here in Utah, comfortability and the lower cost cities to live in. If you are thinking about making a move or relocating out here to the Salt Lake City, Utah area, we would absolutely love to connect. We hear from people like you all the time that are making a move or relocating and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move in a week, in a month, in a year from now, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and my team and I would absolutely love to connect with you. Take care and have a great one. Bye.